three, two, one, go. These last few months have been really fun. I've taken a step back from work on YouTube. These past few years I've gradually burnt myself out by replacing the fun bits of my life with more work, but that didn't happen and instead resulted in more procrastination, which led to less work getting done than before, together with a generally lower quality of life. But now I've reversed all that. I've killed that voice in the back of my head saying do more work by instead booting up games and enjoying them. I've learned to enjoy myself again, rather than just how to avoid work as much as I can. Right now, I have to have my fix of dirt rally when I first get up. Whenever I have something to eat, it's customary to watch a bit of Game of Thrones. These are very much bad habits, but I feel are a step up from the procrastination that used to dominate my life, back when all I did was to work, from dawn to dusk. Time spent enjoying a game certainly isn't time wasted. This is something I believe now more than ever. Mindlessly clicking on Reddit, on the other hand, is, and leaves me feeling very dissatisfied when I eventually go to bed. Years ago, I struck a pretty good balance between work and play. This slowly changed once I tried to spend more and more time making YouTube videos. Turns out there's only so much you can do in a day before getting burnt out and getting all fidgety and procrastinating, and I had certainly reached that point. My recent slacking off has seen one unexpected plus side, a marked improvement in quality over on Philip. This must be something to do with how refreshed I feel as I embark on each new video for the channel. There aren't many new videos, but each and every one I've released I have really enjoyed making. I've moved away from tried and tested video making methods, and this new approach keeps the process fun, challenging and engaging for me from start to finish. And I hope it's evident by how varied and interesting the videos are, too. Though I do have to admit that this more lax approach doesn't help with 3 clicks Philip as much. I've really let the channel slide since reaching 600,000 subscribers. Perhaps I need to start enjoying life just that little bit less and to pick up the pace ever so slightly. I've always worked in waves, mixing up how I work for a while before getting bored with it and having to change it again so I hope to move towards a wave that favours more 3 clicks Philip content in the coming weeks. But I don't want to overdo it. I want an upload notification from my channel to mean something, like a treat that people can't wait to see rather than just a reliable spam that people only choose to watch when they're bored. Looking back to 2014, there were times when I would make a video every day, but usually it was just some kind of token effort just to say that I had. I think that were I to do that again now that you guys would soon feel the drop in quality and would want the old style of videos back again. I can certainly say that my style of content really benefits from my channels being bigger, like they are right now. It lets me justify spending more time on fewer and perhaps more original video ideas, knowing that the views will still come rolling in. Making a 2 clicks Philip video about CSGO will still guarantee a higher number of views than something truly original, but I'm no longer bound by such mainstream, popular stuff since I've got a large enough following already. I felt that this was the right place to make a video like this. Sometimes making a quick video can help to get the ball rolling for other ones, and I guess this is one way in which this channel has always helped me. So if you're watching this, know that I'm happy, and that I'm looking forward to making more dank content for you soon.